So all of those produce centralization risk. Um, and proof of stake is a lot less tested in that regard than proof of work. We have a lot of experience with proof of work. Um, I like Ethereum's current proof of work algorithm, memory hard algorithm. And so I'm somewhat reluctant to see them switch to the much less tested proof of stake. And they've actually improved on Bitcoin's proof of work algorithm with their own. Um, Bitcoin's proof of work algorithm um, is more likely to promote centralization than Ethereum's current proof of work algorithm because it's much more amenable to hardware optimization than a memory hard um, proof of work. But in general, and I wrote about this back in 1998, really any proof of work system is, is amenable to hardware optimization. It just turns out that memory hardness is, is um, less amenable to that than, than CPU. Um, so if I were Ethereum, I would at least intersperse proofs of stake with the occasional proof of work to prevent what's called long chain attack. And as for centralization risk, you get in a lot of um, speculations about economics that really are just speculations. <laughs>